in the recent survey carried out, it shows that one out of five people have either opted or are planning to opt out of their pension scheme. Now, the question is, you know, for, for the past couple of um, weeks now, I've been having conversations with people, you know, immigrants like myself who work in the UK. And one of the questions being asked is, you know, why would one want to actually opt out from a workplace and pension scheme? And I would like to hear your thoughts on if you're currently, you know, um, you know, contributing towards your pension here in the UK as an immigrant working professionally, or, you know, you've decided to opt out. I've had conversations with loads of people who have decided to opt out. And listening to the point of view is actually valid. The points they make are valid. But the question is, is it actually, you know, is it a good idea to opt out of pension contribution as a worker or a professional working here in the United Kingdom? Now, I'm going to share with you some of the mistakes I made. I opted out of pension contribution, you know, when I first came into the UK and why, as of today, I think it was a bad decision at that time. And what were the lessons I've learned since I opted out of you know, my pension um, contribution here in the UK. So if you have any thought pieces in the comment section, if you'd like to, you know, listen to the reasons why you should or shouldn't opt out of pension contribution, please stick to the video till the end. And if you're coming across my channel for the first time, do well to hit on the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family and my returning subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being here. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, to be honest, you know, um, opting out of my pension was a decision I took at that time because I felt I wasn't making enough money that I should be making. And I felt the amount I was putting into pension was not actually worth it. I need to have that cash in hand so I can meet up with, you know, immediate bills. And that was a decision I made at that time. And to be honest with you, I think as of today, I think it was not a good decision. And, you know, there are so many things you're losing out if you decide to opt out of your pension contribution here in the UK as an immigrant especially and you know i haven't spoken to quite a number of people one of the major reasons why people decide to opt out of you know pension one of them is that oh i've got no plan of staying back in the uk for long or oh, what if you know i'm unable to get a skilled worker visa and i'm paying pension while still being a student you know and so many other valid reasons and to be honest with you guys those reasons are definitely valid However, let's have a conversation about, you know, long-term plan, especially if you're planning to stay back in the UK upon completion of a program or you're currently on the skilled worker visa and you also plan. And what was surprising for me was the fact that, you know, I've had loads of people who are even on the skilled worker visa who opted out. I had a conversation with, you know, two nurses sometime, uh, you know, early this year. And the conversation was, oh, they work as nurses and they decided to opt out of, you know, um, the pension scheme. And I was surprised because... Being a nurse, you work with the NHS and the NHS contribution to pension is so generous, honestly. Um, you know, based on the recent information, it shows that, you know, unlike before, last financial year, uh, NHS contributed about 20.6%. From the 1st of um, April 2024, employers' contribution rate has increased. So it means that NHS is arguably, you know, the highest um you know um, pension contributor here in the united kingdom so now the fact that you decide to opt out of pension if you work with the nhs i don't think it's a good idea one of the things you're losing you're going to lose the employer's contribution so that 23 points um seven percent that nhs should be paying as your pension contribution you're going to be losing it if you decide to opt out now for those who don't know you can choose to opt out of you know your pension if you want and you know if you're working out in the uk and you decided that oh i don't want to pay pension anymore you can start to opt out i think if you opt out at a particular period i'm not sure of how long now you're going to get back all the pension that was paid you know that you paid back to you i did that so i think when i first came into the uk as an international student i got a job as you know at some point that was not my first job at some point i got a job as a care assistant and a mental health support worker basically and um, the agency I was working with at that time started deducting pension. Now, in the UK, if you meant to get a new job, automatically you get, you know, um, put into pension and you can decide to opt out. So when I get got paid, I think my first and second, you know, um, salary, uh, it's, it's wages actually because we pay, you get paid weekly. And I saw that they deducted the particular amount as my pension contribution. I'm like, who do I want to stay back in the UK? Come on, give me back all my money. <laughs> so I contacted HR at that time and I, I opted out of pension contributions. So it means that the amount the you know care agency was paying for me as the employer contribution was stopped the amount i was also contributing to my pension was also stopped so as i get back all the money that was 
supposed to go to my pension in my account. Now, I did this for my first two years in the UK. And as of today, it's a bad idea. I've been paying pension, you know, for the last well, over a year now, about roughly 17 months um, since I started working professionally as a data analyst. And to be honest with you guys, the contribution of my employer is really generous. I mean, if I've been asking, why would I want to? And of course, just like every other person, the reason why I stopped contributing was because I wasn't sure of uncertainty of the future. I wasn't sure if I would, you know, be able to remain in the UK. What if I pay for two years and after my studies, I had to leave, I wouldn't be able to get back that money and all of so many other valid reasons. However, there's so many things that you're going to be losing out if you choose not to pay for pension. Now, it's important to know that, you know, if you're looking at staying back in the country long term, paying pension is definitely a good idea. It helps you save towards the future. And, you know, for so many people I know who decided to leave the UK after living here for 20 years, 25 years, many of them are living on their pension right now back in their own country. So just imagine living back in Nigeria and you're earning pension here in the UK. Now, one of the things you're going to uh, reasons why you should, you know, decide to stick to, um, you know, your pension contribution is the fact that the state pension alone is not enough. Now, as of today, um, you know, those who retire get paid 230 um Point eight five pounds per week. Now, if you calculate that in a month, it means that they get paid about eight hundred pounds a month. And the truth is, there are little things you can do with eight hundred pounds, despite the fact that you're retired. And you know, if you decide to just live on state pension because you never paid any amount of money on your workplace pension, this might not be a good idea. So imagine getting paid two hundred and thirty pounds um, pension from the state, and you also get a particular amount from your work. Um, your workplace pension also it's definitely a good idea so one of the things you lose you're going to lose out of the employer's contribution you also get only paid the state pension by the time you retire now when people arguably say oh why not just go into private pension really why choose to stick to the state pension and the difference is that with private pension your um the growth of your contribution or the growth of your pension savings is dependent on the market value it's dependent on inflation you know among many other factors affected so your contribution can either go high or go very low so it's a risk however you know um your pension your workplace pension in most situations is being backed up by the uk government especially for those who work with the nhs if you're working with the nhs and you don't pay pension i really don't know what you're thinking but i would like to like you know get an idea from you why you choose not to consider the fact that you're losing 23.7 percent you know employer contribution anyway that's just what some of the things you're going to lose um, if you decide not to pay um, pension. One other thing is that if you don't pay pension, you're paying more tax because your pension contribution is deducted before your tax has been deducted. So I'm going to give you an example. If you earn gross pay of £3,000, for example, um, if you're paying pension, your pension contribution will be taken off first. So let's say, for example, you're paying £250 or £300 as a pension contribution. So it means that your taxable amount will be 2000 700 because 300 pounds has been taken away from your pension contribution so let's assume that you're paying let's just with just an assumption now let's assume you're paying 20 percent tax for example it means that instead of paying 20 percent of 3000 which is about 600 pounds i think yeah 600 pounds you're going to be paying 20 percent of 2700 because you paid pension so instead of paying 600 pounds you're going to be paying about 540 pounds i think yeah 540 pounds as tax so you're saving money on tax by deciding to pay for pension which eventually had to you know your um, future savings now another benefit of paying pension as uh you know a worker here in the uk is that you can get a tax-free lump sum when you retire now at the moment you can take 25 percent of your pension pot as a tax-free lump sum whenever you're ready to you know you're ready to retire and you know since april 2015 you now have more options on what to do with the remaining amount, convert it into regular income or take it as cash subject to, um, to tax. So yeah, that's one of the things that you get to benefit if you have a pension account and you have money being saved in there as your pension contribution. So guys, what do you think about, you know, retaining your pension contribution? Do you think it's a good idea for immigrants who, you know, are planning to stay back in the UK for a long time or for those who are not staying back in the UK for a long time? What are the pros and cons of, you know, having your pension contribution? Do you think it's a good financial decision? Do you think it's not a good financial decision? Please state your thoughts in the comment section. And if you find this video resourceful and informative, please click on the like button. And if you're coming across my channel for the first time, do well to hit on the subscribe button to join the amazing growing family and my returning subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. 
So this will be the end of this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.